Hello, my sumo peeps. Um, I uh, get told often that people like my my branches and my uh, naked trees and things that I um, don't make in sumo. And so I thought I'd show you the secret of how I make them. It's actually pretty easy and it's fun and you can go make them on your own. So first thing I do is I start with a photograph and preferably my own photograph. So I will open up one here. This is a photograph from Fort Vancouver um, in Vancouver, Washington. Let me shrink this here. Yes, I get 25%. Okay, so, and I've used these branches before, but um, just to give you an idea of what I can do, let's say we just wanted to use a portion of this as, oh, I don't know, a four drop or something on a, on a sumo image. What I want to do is first crop this. And this is, the important thing here for me is I usually try to take pictures of bare trees in front of a gray sky, which we're very lucky here in Oregon, I guess. We have those very often. So um, this was taken, I think, sometime in spring. But okay, so let's, let's just chop this part off and say, call that good. Now we're going to bump this back up to, we'll say 75%. Let's make it 70. Okay, so then we want to take our levels adjustments, levels. And we want to get this as true to black and white as we can get. So we really want to lower our blacks. And then these gray tones, we want to get rid of them. We want to get that to all be white. Kind of just like that. Maybe back this up a little bit. Okay, so now it looks like more of a 2D image. So what we do now is take our magic wand and we select the black. And obviously it's not selecting everything. That's pretty much okay, but we'll, oops. Go ahead and use the plus signal and try and select as much as we want. And I think that looks good. So what we do here, remember this, edit. Actually, let's go ahead and um, feather this just a little bit, just this one. Let's see how that turns out. That might be too much on this with all the intricate branches. In fact, I'm going to undo that. Okay, so edit, copy, edit, paste. And what we've done, I'll delete this original layer here, is we've created a tree branch or a tree whatever on, um, on a blank background. So now we can save that and use it with other images. Um, sometimes what I'll do here, usually I'll just kind of leave it like this, um, but let's say we wanted to add a little bevel to it. Layer effects, bevel just to give it a little bit of 2D-ness. We can also kind of give it a little bit more texture by filter noise. I always choose monochrome and we just, oops, sorry, I forgot we have to select pixels first. So right click, select pixels, and then filters, noise, monochrome, and up to, oh, just about 15, or say 19, that works. Okay, filters, stylize, emboss. And it just gives it a little bit of texture. Okay, select, deselect. And there you have it, kind of a nice rustic tree. What we can do is say file, save to my computer, save as tree, as a PNG file. Push save, select where you want to save it to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And let's say, let's get out of this image altogether. Let's say I want to add that tree to something I've already done here. So let's uh, open from Sumo account. What's an appropriate image to add that tree to? I don't know. Okay, let's, river runs through it. Okay, image I did a long time ago. Let's go file, import layer on my computer. We'll choose the tree PNG that we made. And how do you like that? Adjustments, hue and saturation. Of course, I have to colorize it to kind of match the, uh, the painting here or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and select pixels. Adjustments. Or no, uh, select contract by one. I just want to see what this does. It looked a little messy to me. OK, 
Okay. Select inverse. Edit cut. Select deselect. Yeah, and that cleaned it up kind of nicely. So, um, yeah, there's a little bit of mess there, which I'm going to go ahead and erase that. So as you can see, you can really you can really play with these and kind of get it to how you like it, what looks good. What looks good to you, I should say, because what looks good to you and what looks good to me sometimes are two different things. So. Yeah, that looks pretty pretty realistic, wouldn't you say? It looks like a, a tree overlooking the river. Um, and we could, of course, put it in different colors or whatever you wanted to do, but there you have it. So that is how you import a tree or really any object um, against a gray or a solid background, so it's really easy to kind of pull that image out and make a PNG file out of it. Hope that helps. Have a great Thanksgiving, y'all. Bye-bye.